hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how i wash my guinea pigs um i've got lucy and she's pregnant and i'm going to show you how to wash a pregnant guinea pig um so yeah i hope you guys enjoy um this is how i wash my guinea pigs so yeah and let me know some tips how you wash your guinea pigs i would like to know I'm actually sick with a cold, <coughs> um, so I'm not well, and I just wanted to film this for you guys, something to put up on my YouTube channel, so I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so the first things first, my hair's a mess, I'm really sorry about that, as I said, I'm not well. Um, I have my guinea pig Lucy in the sink at the moment. And I'm about to go and grab um, some body wash. Um, I use body wash. You can use body wash or you can use uh, pet products. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting some pet products for my guinea pigs to wash them. Um, so, yeah. This is my little girl, Lucy. As I mentioned, she's pregnant. And she um, will be giving birth um, hopefully soon. Um, she's my little girl, and you guys can tell she's a beautiful baby, and she's pregnant, and, um, I'm getting her basically, um, ready, uh, for her birth. I don't know when she's going to be giving birth. She might be giving birth at the end of this week, or next week. I've got a feeling probably next week, um, or the week after. So, I'm basically, she's so cute. So I'm basically going to give her a bath, um, so I will be back, I'm going to grab the body wash and a towel for her to dry her off and I'm going to keep her with me for a little while while she dries off, um, so yeah, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm using this Pomor Live Body Wash. As I mentioned, I do use this stuff on my guinea pigs and there hasn't been any problems. So if you guys, um, you know, just got a guinea pig and you want to know what to use, I recommend some just natural body wash um, uh, instead of using hand wash. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be using. If you are just bought a guinea pig and you don't know what to use check on my youtube channel there's a lot of things i do with my guinea pigs and yeah um so what i've seen with my guinea pigs lately they have been craving a lot of hay so it's always good to buy them some hay from the pet store um i feed them carrots um celery broccoli um you can feed them oranges but not too much because it's too much um orange i don't know what it's called but it's just too much sugar in the oranges so it's not good to feed them oranges all the time um i basically feed them um uh celery vegetables and i feed them some guinea pig food too grass is good but um remember do not give your guinea pigs grass when you've dismowed the lawn from the mower because of the petrol fumes um, I found out it's not good to do that, um, which I don't. So the only thing you should do if you want to give them grass is fresh grass outside and why it's not cut and give it to them because that is a good thing to give your guinea pig. Um, grass is good as well. Um, I've been giving them a little bit of crackers now and then, so a little bit of, um, you know, little biscuit, not biscuit biscuits, but like crackers um dry biscuits uh and it helps with their teething um only now and then it's just like a little treat um and yeah 
So let's get on with the washing of the guinea pig. So when you wash a guinea pig, you always got to make sure that the water is a good, um, good heat for a guinea pig. Never put your guinea pig in boiling hot water or freezing cold water. It is really not good for a guinea pig. With my guinea pigs, I always make sure the water's warm before I add my guinea pigs into the water because they can get chilled and they can freeze, which you do not want your guinea pig to get cold and get sick. So that's why you always make sure your temperature of the water. So I'm going to be doing my temperature of the water now. And I'm going to check with my hands and make sure the water is a good temperature before I add my baby in the water. I'm just going to let the water warm up. I'm scanning there, guys. Lucy, it's getting there, baby. She doesn't like baths, if you can tell, she's shaking a bit. And when guinea pigs don't like baths, you just got to make sure and talk to them and tell them everything's going to be okay. Lucy, darling, everything's going to be okay. It's just a little bath. It's okay, baby girl. It's okay. Um, and you always just make sure and you always talk to your guinea pig and let them know that everything's going to be fine. And then they'll trust you and then you can bath them. But as I said, if your guinea pig is like my little girl Lucy and doesn't like baths, um, this is what can happen sometimes. Okay, so the water's warmed up now, so that's good. Um, sometimes I do bath the guinea pigs in the bathtub, you can do that. But because it's just one guinea pig, I'm just going to bath it in the sink. Okay, Lucy? There you go. All right, darling. So we just um, doing. You can see I'm going to put her closer to the camera, but she's just having a bath. And I'm just putting some water on her, which you can see, she's a very good girl. Now, you can see, she's cute there. Um, there so you're not going to see me, you're going to see basically the guinea pig, because that's the whole point of... Um, channel today. So I just use a little bit of body wash in my palm of my hand, um, just about that much. And I use it with my fingers and I just go around her fur, which I'm doing now. And if you can tell she's making noises, that means she's liking it. She's just gone down a bit. And um, yes, yeah, darling. Yeah, I know. You're going to be nice and clean, Lucy. And I'm just giving a little hair a wash. Um, when you wash your guinea pig, make sure you don't wash their eyes. Make sure you stay away from that area. And, and you can tell her fur is pretty dirty. Um, yes, I know. Then what I said... And always make sure that the water is a good temp before you add your guinea pigs in the water. So you can tell my guinea pig is actually enjoying the bath.
Sometimes it takes a while to rinse a guinea pig because they this is what they do. Um, so then I just make sure that it's all clean. And why the babies in the bath it's always good to clean their ears check if there's any gunk to clean there around their eyes what i normally do is use a cotton tip and i use a bit of warm water and it actually helps um them let you clean their eyes this year they don't like it because it's water going in their eyes so you don't really put it near their eyes as much and if you can tell on this cotton tip, there was a bit of dirtiness in your eye. So I'm going to show you again. So you grab a cotton tip and see the eyeball. You just close it just near that area, not on the eyeball. And that's it for that area. Hey, that is done. Then I grab the towel that I'm using for the guinea pig and I always place it where the guinea pig will go and I put her on their darling stay. Since this is what they do because they do not like, um, always tuck your guinea pig in a comfortable spot around the legs, arms and hold it basically like a baby so you can dry the guinea pig and that's how you bath a guinea pig. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions, write them down below in the comment section. I would love to answer your questions. And um, yeah, if you like my YouTube channel of me bathing my guinea pig, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I do shows Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. I might be doing a challenge on Friday with my boyfriend. Um, hopefully on Friday, it depends how I feel. Um, if not, hopefully next Friday. So yeah, have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon.